all right what's going on folks it's bark coming back at you with another video and today i have the audio technica atr 2100 not really doing a review specifically on this microphone i'm going to transplant a capsule from the behringer xm8500 because to me the xm8500 has more of a sound that i prefer now whether you prefer it or not not what the video is about exactly we're just going to see how the XM8500 capsule works with the ATR2100. It's essentially taking this microphone and turning it into a USB microphone. So let's get started on the work and then test out the new Audio Technic Tech Techinger Tech Audio Techinger, the Bodio Techinger XM. 8500 ATR. All right, so essentially what I'm gonna do here is just remove the capsule from the ATR 2100, obviously, and transplant the Behringer capsule into this, and literally two wires red and black on those bottom two bubbles that's what we're removing not sure if my uh if this is good to go yet or not as far as like heat goes but let's find out I'd like for you guys to see as much of it as possible but oh yeah so first i do gotta I do gotta do something first i do want to remove the ATR2100 capsule, first and foremost, that may be where we run into a problem. That doesn't seem to be made to come out. Aha. Okay, so it does come out. It's got a lot of rubber going on there. So we got a really rubbery shock mount. And it looks like, I don't imagine there's anything in between the capsule and the, the other. That's a little strange. Still got positive and not positive. I wish this capsule would come out of here. That would be nice and convenient. So I don't, I don't want to damage it. That's the one thing. So... I mean that's just to a capsule so we're going to go ahead we're going to go ahead and do this so blue and green wires on the bottom blue is essentially our hot green is our ground so let's give some tension here and remove the blue there goes the blue that easy now the green put some tension on it and off we are and the ATR 2100 is rolling away so here's where things might get dicey that is a pretty tall pretty tall capsule so now we want to take the Behringer XM8500 ah oh, you know what I remembered I remembered it doesn't like to come off here son of a bitch there we go. All right. That one video, I was trying really hard to get the ball off the top of the uh, Behringer. And it was, yeah, it was very difficult. That time wasn't so bad. So the Behringer capsule, get out of the light here, has solder on one side and solder on the other. Made a little different. So that could prove slightly challenging. Maybe. Maybe. Now I just got to figure out what's positive and what is negative. Looks like the red is there and white maybe. Let's go ahead and get these. Let's see if I can remove this capsule. That's got a nice rubbery, rubbery capsule thing going on too. You know that's, uh, I probably picked the worst microphone to do this on because it's ran up through yeah, that's going to suck. That is going to suck. Oh, well. 
Let's do it. A little bit of tension. Where's the tension coming on the red? Okay. Now we got that out. So you got to really pull while soldering. Got to really put some tension on there. See how I have to pull it down out of the rubber? That kind of sucked. So I've got the capsule out. Probably gonna blow this thing up. Okay, so we've soldered in the capsule. And we're definitely going to end up needing some kind of a wrap on the capsule to get it to stay. Okay, so I've tested the mic and it's working, but we have to get this capsule a little more secure. So we're going to do one of my favorite things ever and use some duct tape good times okay so the behringer capsule is in there it's nice and sturdy we just used some uh, high quality duct tape to get it in there so now we essentially have ourselves a behringer uh usb xm8500 let's see what we got okay so moment of truth time uh this is the behringer xm8500 capsule transplanted into the ATR2100 USB. So it is working. Um, does it sound like a Behringer XM8500? That's the question. That is the question. So, okay, that, that was a fun experiment. So here is the ATR2100 capsule out of the ATR2100. And for the sake of the video, here's me talking on the ATR2100 before the transplant. All right, what's going on, folks? It's Bart coming back at you with another video. And to and here is the Behringer XM8500 after the transplant. XM8500 in the ATR2100. Been wanting to do it for a while. I've done it. Let me know what you thought. Does it sound better with the XM8500 capsule, or did you prefer the original capsule in the ATR2100? Let me know. Comments down below.